Hey guys, Greg Alba here. Stacy O. Howard. You guys can follow her on Instagram and Twitter. Stacy, do you like Thomas the Cruise? I do like Thomas the Toolman Cruise. Yeah. He's great. We're gonna watch this video from Mission Impossible Fallout called Halo Jump Stunt behind the scenes. Ooh. It's the crazy stunt, the craziest stunt apparently he's do, ever do, do, done. Do, do, do. And we're gonna get it all ruined for us right now from Paramount Pictures. Okay. But hey, before doing that, Stacy's here with me today because we are wanting to get the word out. The Real Rejects are gonna be hosting an event at Arena Cine Lounge, the theater that Stacy is the janitor for. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a new job description every time we mention this. Yeah. <laughs> I'll put that on yeah. Sorry, janitor. Janitor. No, she's an event coordinator over there. It's this cool little theater, but really, really cool theater actually. We've, I've been there a couple of times now, but it's gonna be on July 7th. It's gonna be a fun Fun event where we can have subscribers come out if you're a fan of the channel or whatever mm -hmm. come out and we're gonna like do some interesting interactive stuff with the audience it's gonna be a chance for us to get to know you guys you'll get to know us on a better level we'll be screening some stuff july yeah. 7th book market if you live in la it's on sunset boulevard it's gonna be fun indeed so you can get tickets at arenascreen.com let's do this okay. stace howard all right greg a that crazy Halo Jump is a sequence Tom and I have been talking about for a number of years. Tom will be the first actor to do a Halo Jump on camera. Halo Jump is high altitude, low open. Military jump at 25,000 feet. Opening a chute below 2,000 feet. And sneak into a foreign country without being detected. That's the idea of Halo. You sound like crazy numbers. There's a lot of risks in going to 25,000 feet. The audience can tell <laughs> when something's been cheated, so it's important to be doing it all for real. There's dangers of hypoxia and the bends. You start losing your mind, but you don't realize it. We had to develop you a really special did helmet. Do this. That is both a prop and a life saving device. The first phase of the Halo sequence was building a wind machine that was large enough for us to be able to rehearse. So we built one of the world's largest wind tunnels. Cool. No one thought it would require over 100 jumps to get the scene. We needed the UAE. Had they not stepped in, we would not have been able to accomplish the sequence. We've been doing five jumps a day out of the Twin Otter. Oh my God. In the afternoon, we'll do three C-17 jumps, and it's challenging. We we're shooting a nighttime sequence. The light has to be perfect. We only get one shot a day. You have to shoot it as one close shot as a day. <laughs> it's three minutes every day to get the shot. Wow! You can't just get on the plane and go. You have to spend 20 minutes on the ground breathing pure oxygen so that you don't get decompression sickness. The plane has to climb to 25,000 feet. All of the lighting turns from white to red. You're talking about Tom jumping out of a plane that's traveling 165 miles an hour. Whoa! No fear! Whoa! Traveling that's a shot in the trailer, yeah. And he's to position himself so that he lands exactly three feet away from the camera. Oh my 20, God. Feet beneath him. God imagine the, the pressure, the we stress. Were really concerned about. There's always a ticking clock in filming a movie, but it's not usually the earth flying up towards you. He just went for you. You see this guy. Oh. There, there's so <laughs> many opportunities for this to fuck up. There's so many people involved. Elements, natural elements, film elements that could mess up. That you Look have at to that coordinate. shot, dude. Oh, wow. God. Yeah, I know, right? Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna And that's just one stunt. Yeah, that, that's, that's one that's, that's just, one thing. That's just the biggest one. I mean that's the big sell, so they have to show us that to be like, come see this movie. Even if they hadn't showed it, my ass would have been in the seat. <laughs> I love the flip of that. The last big stunt was he's hanging off the side of a plane and this time it's like, what if you're falling out of the plane this yeah. time? You what know? if it's like skydiving, but it's the most dangerous <laughs> yeah. version of skydiving you can do? You have to coordinate the, all the all the people and the lighting and all the films, everything has to be perfect. Uh, probably two hundred thousand dollars that you threw in oh, that every, day. every time. I remember seeing that shot in the trailer, and I was thinking, "Whoa, is he real?" Because I didn't hear anything about that stuff. Yeah. So when yeah. I saw it. I was like, "That doesn't look like a green screen. That looks like he's really doing it." And then they show it here. This guy is just insane. They could have green screened this, and it would have been fine, honestly. Because <laughs> I still had to question whether or not it was a green screen. So that's insane. How instead of just getting a stunt double, they had to spend millions extra to build a crazy wind machine <laughs> just so yeah. he could train for this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just like do it on the fly, like oh no, we're gonna we're shooting tomorrow. It'll be 
fun. But that's good on the production company. That's good on Paramount because they know a big part of the selling point with, especially with the latest installments of Mission Impossible, is Tom Cruise does his own stunts. Yeah. So even you if you have to up the ante every yeah, time, you have to. And and he's like seventy five years old now. Yeah. <laughs> so you yeah. Got, you got he's to really train. He's lost his toes. I mean, <laughs> shit's happened. You know. He's not even aware of what he's doing anymore. He's not even alive anymore. Yeah. He's been dead for two years. It's, it's like what other movie would they go? Yeah, we'll spend millions of extra dollars for you to learn how to do this stunt and we'll build some crazy contraption just so you can do this stunt. No other star would get that, but they know that Tom Cruise, a big selling point is they want to know it's him actually doing it yeah. and that'll put people in the seats. It's kind of gnarly looking back on how a few years ago we were all like, oh, Tom Cruise's career is dead. Yeah, yeah. like, oh, what a, what a joke. What a like joke, Scientology, so yeah. And then to see him now, and it's like, oh man, he's like one of the best right now, in yeah. my opinion. He's, like at, action he's star. at the top of his game. He's this is Yeah, he's at the top. <laughs> yeah. yeah. If you see the trailers, this is my most anticipated movie of the summer because mm -hmm. there's multiple sequences, multiple uh, moments that are just look like, amazing in the film. I think this will be the best summer movie. For sure. I agree. I am also really excited to see Henry Cavill not as Superman mm -hmm. in another film because I like him. I think he's been not given the, the proper chances to show off what he could be. Absolutely. So this is that opportunity where I'm like, okay, maybe this is the one because like I really liked him in Man from Uncle. I loved him on the Tudors back in the day. I'm rewatching that show mm -hmm. right now. Actually, he's very sexy in it. I want to see him in something that's not associated with the DC universe and this is Mission Impossible. Absolutely. With the mustache. Come on. Guys. Oh, yeah. This is going to be on. this is going to be an orgasm fest through the roof. Oh, I can't oh, wait. Oh, oh, yeah. oh. Ah. Calm down. Okay. Yours sounded like authentic. Mine sounded like sad. <laughs> you guys can uh, subscribe <laughs> to the Reject Nation and uh, click that notification. It's not a video with Stacy unless there's one sex joke. That's right. That's and right. Click that notification bell. Stacy O. Howard on Instagram and Twitter. Follow her there for uh, the erotic photos she posts on there and the Indeed. erotic tweets. ArenaCineLounge.com, go check out that theater July 7th. Keep your calendar open for that yes. Saturday. Five in the morning, the event will go till. Mm -hmm. From five to 5.30, perfect half hour slot. Yeah. Looking forward to it, guys. <laughs>